Seniors, you'll have to bear with me just a bit longer as I prattle on. But I'm not worried because you all have demonstrated the patience and the tenacity required to earn a Midland Diploma, which tells me you will endure. <laughs> I want the 20 of you to make eye contact with your family and friends who are here today to celebrate your graduation from high school. Today is a milestone, a milestone achieved on the basis of your hard work and a commitment to both yourself and to Midland. But it is not a journey you have made alone. Your family has stood by you, has supported you, has sent care packages, talked to you through the challenging moments on the phone, waited for you to awaken on vacation as you have slept off the grit and exhaustion we sent you home with from each break. They too have lived your education and made hard choices about needs versus wants to make your attendance here possible. I can assure you they are proud today and I can assure you that today is most certainly a day to express your deep gratitude to them for their support. As a new head of school, I am quite literally fresh off the boat. <laughs> Being a new head is a bit like drinking from a fire hose. One, whether one is thirsty or not, one drinks. It's been a long and exciting year for me. I have learned a lot, including that I have a lot more to learn. I'm grateful to these seniors for gently, mostly and most of the time, breaking me in as the new head of school for Midland. This year I have been ably guided by three elements, our faculty and staff, the students, and our mission. Today is about celebrating your graduation from Midland. So rather than bestow upon you a few morsels of graduation speak wisdom, I think I will speak to your contributions in helping all of us live the mission. I want to thank each of you for the simple but not easy act of living the mission to its fullest for the last few years. As per the mission, Midland is a unique college preparatory boarding school experience. You're all headed off to an impressive list of colleges and universities, so I think we can check off the college prep tick list. Given that we're the only school in the country that has yet to succumb to the allure of the modern hot water heater, that we still sit down to break bread together five nights a week, that our gym is missing a wall, <laughs> that we have a huge garden but a small ecological footprint, I suspect we've got the unique thing covered as well. Before me here are 20 students from four countries, a couple of different states, a plethora of cultural, economic, and religious backgrounds. They hold diverse views but are not divisive. Core boarding school experiences, such as having a roommate you don't like, and then coming around to liking them anyway, are part of the journey that teaches us to see the best in others. The esprit de corps of our seniors is a testament to the power of coming to see the best in one another. They honor the differences amongst themselves and know there's more diversity out in the world that they will relish encountering and learning from as they move onward from Midland. Some of the most powerful words in our mission are through, study, and work, wherein we identify a core value of authentic engagement with both our learning and well-being. I have no doubts about the work ethic of these seniors. I know it extends well beyond the skill of sitting down and doing their homework. These seniors remind us every day of a work ethic that extends to the corner of the ranch, to a fence in need of repair to the angsty recesses of a new student's mind, nervous about making friends with only their prefect to help them find their way. And back to Stillman and Dish House, where a senior-led dish crew cranks up the tunes and gets the job done. These seniors have worked and studied hard. They've lived the mission day in and day out. In doing so, they have learned and role modeled the value of a lifetime of learning and laid their own foundation to the life well lived. On a cold morning in January, nobody can get up and walk to Stillman for you. At Midland, your laundry doesn't wash itself, and without the motivation to tend the fire, you will be cold. We have long days in January, but most are joyous and like any other day at Midland. Why? Because our students learn to rely on their own competency to look after themselves. Where do they learn this? This self-reliance is taught and role modeled by older students, 
to younger students, most especially by our seniors. This and every year, we owe a debt to the seniors for teaching us all the merits of living the mission. I'm rather fond of a quote by the philosopher Arne Ness, simple in means, rich in ends. Simplicity is in our mission because it inspires us to put our needs ahead of our wants. There's nothing wrong with wanting. Yet, without an understanding of the underlying needs, our wants are shallow and lacking in claim to our resources. The 20 students before me here have wrestled with unsatisfied wants. They have lived without, without easy access to hot water, without easy access to an endless stream of passive entertainment, without a phone glued to their persona, without a lot of other distractions. Yet these seniors are gloriously rich, rich in friendships and rich in experiences. The giddy joy of simple play is not lost on them. It is a skill they all possess. I remember the first few evenings this year when many, could be, many of them could be found in Stillman, playing board and card games with new students, welcoming them to our community. Many times we laughed and learned listening to your chapels. No other high school asks the seniors to shoulder as much responsibility for our collective success each year as Midland does. This is a deep tradition grounded and rooted not only in the mission, but in our history. The kinship these seniors feel for this place, our community, our purpose, is the lifeblood of our success. Each of you has in your own way dug deep and shouldered a portion of this awesome responsibility. To your great credit and with our collective thanks, you've succeeded and upheld the mission of the school. Likewise, the firewood you split, the solar panels you installed, the recycling you sorted, the miles you hiked and explored, the vegetables you grew, all demonstrated your connection to our little ecosystem here at Midland. An ecosystem that includes the full diversity of this place, an ecosystem that will be diminished upon your departure. And yet, one that because of your contributions is strong enough to evolve to the next generation. So, Annalise, Sage, Neff, Matthias, Skyler, Olivia, Derby, Lona, Tate, Robert, Clarissa, Mark, Grace, Daniel, Duncan, Julia, Angie, Aon, Jamie, and Giorgio, it is it is with real pride and real ad admiration that I thank you all on the behalf of a grateful community for a job well done. Thank you for leaving this place a bit better than you found it. Thank you for the good and great deeds in all your futures that will make us even prouder. We wish you the very best. And now with no further ado, let's hand out some diplomas.